Hello everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here, hoping you all are liking the videos that I'm putting out on YouTube for Strike Force. and if you are, let me know down in the comment section below. There's some other games that I've been wanting to cover, such as Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and Bleach Immortal Souls, which is a very free-to-play friendly game that I think you guys would enjoy for sure. So if you want to stick around for that kind of stuff, hit that like button. Also, hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner for me. And guys, stick around for everything. Keep those notifications on. Peace out. Warren Rad 89 here today, bringing you another Marvel Strike Force video. Today we're going to be doing like a more chill just video going over roster review and my T4s and the squads that I'm working on right now and like who I'm currently farming at the moment. So right now I'm doing my Asgards. This is like my main priority for working on gear and farming them and everything because I want to try to be ready for Black Bolt. So they're like my main farm right now. Some of my other characters I have beefed up. I have Captain Marvel who I think I have two T4s on her. I have the T4 on her passive and her ultimate. So those are maxed out and everything. And then I have Killmonger, who is one of my seven red stars, but I haven't put anything else on him. I'm waiting till he's a seven red star, and then I'm probably going to start maxing him out because I'm like, he was my very first one, so kind of he kind of deserves it. And then we got Falcon here, who's pretty, pretty beefy. I love Falcon and everything. He works well in Dark Dimension 2. If people have been watching my videos and everything, then you know for sure he's definitely a help for me. Then we have Scientist Supreme, and I have the T4 on her field trials, which helps flip, I think, four negative, four negative effects. That was the main one I wanted to go for, because that's like the best one and everything like that for her to have. Then I have Star-Lord, who's Improvisation <laughs> is his, the T4 that I have on him right now. Then we have, let's see, Drax. I don't have any T4s on him, but my Drax is pretty beefy just because of the red stars, and he's a six star. Six gold, five red, so that definitely helps. There's Minerva right there, only a four red star, four gold, but gear 13, so she's helping me out in Dark Dimension 2. Then we have Iron Fist, who I have, I have some uh, a T4 on him for the Son of Kunlun for that healing and everything. Because the Defenders, when I first started the game, the Defenders were like the best starting team. And I've been playing for about a year and a half now, I think. Then we have Punisher. I have the T4 on his lock and load to help those assists from all the, from uh, when the Defenders use their like specials and all that stuff for non-attack moves, he always assists. And we have Rocket. I don't have any T4s on him at the moment. Want to get some more red stars? That would be great to get more red stars on him because he's a damage guy. But I'm one piece away from that gear 13, so pretty close on Rocket. Then we have Captain America, who's one of my six red stars. He's he's pretty tanky too, but I like him. I think he's very underrated for sure because I like his shield throw, and that Inspire always helps me out with that defense up. Now we have Human Torch. I've been working on the Fantastic Four. That was kind of my previous thing before the Asgards. I was working on them. So I have my Fantastic Four pretty beefed up and everything. But I only have T4s on Invisible Woman and Namor at the moment. And then I have Jessica Jones, who I have the T4 on her Jawbreaker to help gain that energy that you want and generate that from her attacks. Plus she attacks twice off her basics. So getting double times of chance of receiving energy from her. Shield Security, who's another one of my gear tier 13 characters who's helping me out in Dark Dimension 2. Definitely a great tank. It's auto tank, which is always great, and he applies slow on basic, which is pretty pretty helpful. Then we have, here we go, Namor. I have the T4 on his Imperious Rex, which is great for war. I use Fantastic Four in war a lot, and I'm, I'm a huge, huge fan of war offense. So a lot of my Roster is geared more towards war offense. Then we have some Yondu. Here we go, War Machine. I have a T4 on War Machine for the integrated targeting. That's actually my favorite, favorite squad in the entire game to use is Power Armor. I love Power Armor. 
Then we have Shuri. I've been beefing her up to help me out in raids and assistance for that. Uh, also the oh, I forgot what it's called, but the one where you can get the promotional credits. That one I've been I've been beefing up my Wakandans for that because it comes around every month. And we have Iron Man, Daredevil. No T fours on him. We have a T4 right here on Vision. I use Vision on my power armor team, who's going to be replaced pretty soon once I beef up Ironheart. Rescue, some more power armor. Quake, she's pretty useful. I have to get my Nick Fury unlocked to help my shield out for sure. I have a T4 on Coulson. I really like Coulson. I just wish he was more farmable, that's for sure. Especially by now, he deserves to be, I think, in my opinion. Invisible Woman, I have a T4 on her on the psych the psionic shields. I need to get another one on her, but I'm debating right now on saving him because I'm going to get that Ultron unlocked pretty soon, so I'm going to save my T4s for him, actually, I think. Mantis, who's great for the Guardians. Groot, I have a T4 on him for his passive because he applies slow whenever he's attacked. Luke Cage, who's probably... I think the weakest member of my defender team, Luke Cage. I kind of really just, I put in just enough into him just to make him usable. Shield Medic, and who else we got here? Just some others. Miss Marvel. I got the T4 on her fangirl to help out the assist for my brawler team for sure. Mr. Fantastic for the Fantastic Four. Then we have Black Panther. I just started working on him pretty good. So, like I said, working on them for that can't remember the name of it, but the promotional credit one, the Chaos Theory. There you go. The Thing. Gamora. So, yeah, overall, those are the main T4s that I have on my characters, those guys that you saw, and we are going through them. That's pretty much, yeah, what I got. I got mainly Brawlers, Power Armor, Fantastic Four. My Sinister Six is average. They could be better for sure. Mr. Sinister, I just started putting work into, and I really need to work on my villains and my brotherhood and all them overall because a lot of my heroes are good, but I definitely need to work on my villains a little bit more. And, but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, prepping with these Asgards is my main, main mission right now. Hopefully be ready for that Black Bolt unlock when it comes out in August, so could be a good birthday month for me. Yay! <laughs> so I'm a little excited about that, so hope you guys enjoy the video like like these videos then definitely like in another month or two we'll do another roster review and show you guys where i'm at and what's going on so hope you all like it and everything leave that like hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner for me and definitely stick around those notifications on the channel too that way you keep updated peace out guys